Before coming to America, Ranjit Singh was a captain in the Indian Army and was well known throughout most of the country. Unfortunately for him, a mission goes wrong and is something that scars him for the rest of his life and actually is one of the problems he has when he lives in America. Now he's a landscaper in a little island called Martha's Vineyard, just a couple of hours away from Boston, Massachusetts. And there he tries to support himself, his wife Pritam, and their nine-year-old daughter Shanti. But unfortunately, things don't seem to be going very well, as they're very poor and live in a very rundown home. It gets to the point where Pritam wants to move back to Boston to live with her uncle. Thankfully though, Ranjit is able to get a job from a well-known senator on the island. To make his family happy, Ranjit decides to let his family stay in the senator's home without the senator knowing since he is away for winter vacation. And while they are home, a string of break-ins occurs across the island due to the fact that many people aren't away from their homes on the island. Ranjit unfortunately gets caught up in this and is put into a blackmail situation. In A.X. Ahmad's novel, The Caretaker, we follow Ranjit as he tries to figure out how to save his family and keep his secret from being revealed. Now I'll be honest, I really didn't get to finish this novel because there were a lot of problems that I had with it. I feel like the novel itself has a lot of potential when it comes to the entire story itself with everything that goes on with it. There's a lot of things I feel like work together. However, I feel like the execution of it was done very poorly and needs to definitely be redone as far as timeline and structure because it made the novel much more confusing. In the beginning of the novel, for instance, there is a short prologue with a snapshot of Ranjit's time in the army, and it basically is the very beginning of the mission that caused him a lot of grief and a lot of problems later on in the future. I really think that the idea of having the prologue kind of setting up the story in that way was a smart idea. However, throughout much of the rest of the novel, there are many times where Ranjit kind of refers back to these memories of the mission, essentially indicating that he has a form of PTSD from being in the army. While I think that the idea of having PTSD is very good and is actually very relatable to a lot of people who have been in the army or in the military of any kind, I do believe that honestly the whole idea of it was very distracting from the novel and made it a lot harder to understand. The whole premise of the novel was about, you know, Reggie keeping the secret and not wanting it to be revealed and I felt like if we knew the secret right off the bat from the very beginning with the prologue, the whole kind of story of what the secret is, I feel like that would be a lot easier to understand because then we wouldn't have to be guessing, oh, what did this guy do until about halfway through the novel? We would know right away what the problem was and what he was trying to keep from everybody. And then as the novel progressed, you could see there was the struggle to keep that secret under wraps, especially when it comes to the blackmail that is set up for him. Someone else who read this book said that this novel was a fast-paced thriller novel, and unfortunately, I disagree with that. The novel was very, very slow-paced. It kind of just had a lot of build-up in the story that got you to the point, especially when you find out about what exactly Ranjit did in the army that caused him so many problems. And while that may be good in some cases, I felt like in this book the buildup was way too slow for my liking. It honestly got to a point where many times throughout the novel my mind was kind of drifting off to other things, thinking about, you know, things about Christmas, things about, you know, my family, stuff like that. And if a novel does that to me, I don't take that as a very good sign. It really disappoints me that a novel could make me do that because you want a novel to enrapture you and make you want to keep your eyes on the book and continue to read, whereas this novel, I felt just so withdrawn from it. I wasn't attached to any of the characters, especially Ranjit. I did, maybe that was partly because I'm not in his position and I don't understand his position very well with being in the army and everything, but overall I felt like this novel was just so underdeveloped and I felt like there could have been a lot more to it and maybe that might be by just you know fixing the whole idea of the secret and having that put towards the beginning because I feel like that would make it a lot more interesting and a lot more exciting because now I know what the secret is now I want to see if he's going to be able to keep it and what exactly comes up with this whole secret idea. So overall, I felt like this had a lot of potential as far as like the storyline of it and the things that happened during it. I do think though that the execution was very, very poor and really needs to be redone in order for it to be much more kind of enthralling to the reader. But that's going to do it for this book review of AX Ahmad's The Caretaker. 
Again, overall not my favorite novel, but I feel like it did have a lot of good things going for it. It just needed to be kind of reworked and kind of rewired in a way. So, but let me know what you guys thought of this book if you've read it or if you are interested in reading it for any particular reason. I will say that there are a lot of sexual themes in it. There's a lot of very triggering events, especially for those of you who are in the military or have been in the military. So do take that into consideration when you're reading this novel because there's a lot of talk about, you know, war themes and a lot of triggering events for the main character that happen. And so I'm afraid that that might trigger a lot of people that are, especially that have been in combat. Well, I, if I was to rate it, I would say it's probably probably like a 4 out of 10. It's got a lot of good ideas in going for it, but it just really, really needs to be redone. The characters need to be more developed, the storyline needs to be reworked, the whole idea of the secret needs to be brought out earlier, and the build-up needs to be a lot more. You need to have more of a quick, I feel like a quicker buildup than what was given in the story. The next book I will be reading is called Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. And this book honestly was one of two books that Robert got for me for my birthday over the summer. And the funny story is, is that I told him I actually wanted books by Charlotte Bronte because I've never read her work and I wanted to get into her kind of classic literature a long time ago. And he accidentally got me her sister and Bronte. So while it was a totally accidental moment, I'm actually very excited to read this book because the back of it made it seem really, really interesting. and. You know, it tends to happen that siblings write in this very similar way, so I'm excited to see how Anne's work is and then later on maybe compare it to Charlotte's when I get a chance to read any of her work. But this is a pretty short book, I will say, so this one's going to be done fairly, fairly quickly and I'm very, very excited for it. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this book review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!